Hey everyone, and welcome back to my Outer Looper run. I, last episode we left off, I just had a bit of a sleep in the bed. Woke up, weather was fine, went back to sleep for a couple more hours. Woke up, and just as a, as a blizzard was rolling in, you know, it's just past midnight, early hours of the early morning. Um, but yeah, so it's down to about minus 12 in here. So we could do a couple of things here. We could get the lantern out again, you know, and I, this is what I might do just for a little bit. So we'll light that. Obviously it's only going to give us a couple of degrees. And then in the bed we're still going to be, you know, only still minus four. But what we might do is pass time for an hour and watch our cold go down. But when we come to, like we still have a little bit of warmth. Mm. And, you know, you know, we haven't actually warmed up or anything, but what it means is, you know, if we start a little fire now, to actually warm up, we're not, you know, spending quite as much fuel, oh so... We'll just start this fire now. Come on, little fire. Come yeah, on. come on, little fire. Work with me. Come on. Third time's a charm. I know there's a blizzard going on. It's not like, like your life depends on this or anything. Come on. Come on, little fire. There we go. <sighs> Oh, fire starting too. That makes me makes me rather happy. So what are we doing temperature wise? Oh, it must have really dropped a bit more as well. We must have been like minus fifteen or something. Now, yeah, come on. I guess we need to uh add at least a few more. And yeah, now we're in the positives. So we're kinda of down on our fuel just a little bit. And all we've got left is sticks and these couple of bits of coal, so finishing off our bow in that shed when daylight hits, we really need to get a bit more fuel, I think. So that's going to go for two hours, we're plus 17. Uh, let's at least break this down. You know what, I really should just keep up the food a little bit. I kind of keep losing track of that. Oh, we offer water. We've got quite a lot, but... Let's put on a litre. Now I'm 49. Did we leave any food out here? No. Okay. Now, does anything else break oh, down for wood in it. here? Doesn't look like it. Are we off? Hmm. 15 minutes for some more water. Still only feels like one. Hoping this blizzard isn't an all day scenario. It'd just be the worst. What else can we do? Oh, we can build a reishi. Right, so we might just cook that ratio up. Oh, 
sounds like the wind's drying off, maybe. Maybe it's let us limp through this. survived for 14 days this is going to be the start of day 16 I guess just hit fire starting two a couple of others are at two uh, we've got some archery skill just from building the arrows I think I don't think you get it for building the bow at all but so we're just gonna drink that straight off the bat get our warming bonus Right, let's add two bits of that reclaimed and just a couple of sticks. I got plenty of water for the moment. I don't think I'll worry about having that on there and risk forgetting the pot or burning it off. So two hours there. Probably just going to sleep for two more hours. Go back a tiny bit of condition and just see if we can sleep out this uh, blizzard a tiny bit. So okay, let's see how we go. doesn't sound like that blizzard wants to stop. And we still got an hour. Our fire starting two skill just like that have that burn for a little bit longer because you know two and a half hours we slept for two hours or maybe oh, we didn't sleep for a full two hours dying. maybe we woke up a little bit well rested before that was done but at some point you get a big, big bonus for the extra fire starting skill and it burns for longer. What are we got happening here? I guess we kind of got nothing else to do, but it will use up our calories, so I'm just going to whip my head out here for a moment. Very quick, very, very, very quick stick scout. I did see one behind here. At least I thought I saw one behind here. No, it was these. This is an exercise in futility. Back inside. Warm up again. Hour and 13. Oh well. I guess we just try and pull that off. Hopefully this weather dies off sometime soon. Damn it. That sounds like it, hopefully. Well, I remember, I'm just gonna pull that stick off there. Alright, so the weather's still kind of yuck. It's still going to be minus, it would have been minus five in here at this point. But I'm just going to run around out here for a moment. Still minus 27. 
And we've probably hit that little day threshold in the world where it starts to suck. Alright. And how are we off for... Uh, things that can help us be more warm. I guess we'll just... Cook up a few of these. So what I'm mostly concerned about is the ability to have a warm enough fire to finish crafting crafting that bow. And that bow, as will be here, um, the bow got two hours left to craft. So we don't need to with the coal we've got we'll do it. It's just whether or not we get trapped down there in worse weather and need to get out of there. So now and we've also got some rabbit pelts, which, to be honest, I'd probably try and craft into a hat rather than the gloves. Cook a couple more of those up. Um, but we don't have the guts on the go here. I'd have to make a journey up behind Grandmother's house to a cave up there. I'm pretty sure I've left at least three guts and I only really need one. So I could make that in three and a half hours. And by going back to that cave up there, there's probably some more fuel up there or some coal I can pick up, I would hope. Uh, and then that might get us enough to finish crafting all of these things. And then we can uh, make a dash down from the Milton Basin. All this requires that weather just to fine up a little bit. I mean, what is it out here now? Still minus 13. It's getting a little bit better during the day. So, just need to make a decision on whether I go to the cave first and try and do all of this in one big one big go and we'd risk not coming back here I think I'm going to try and make a dash for that cave and drink that pick up the pot uh, I don't think it's worth trying to Torch travel, that wind is going to be hard, so I'm going to grab all the cured. What are we doing weight wise? I can't afford to grab too many of these. But even just those are fine. Pretty sure I have another maple somewhere we need to cure. I might bring just one along anyway. That jerry can is not going to come. So any extra weight stuff we don't need at all. Probably don't need an additional can. There's nothing really extra here. I think we've got plenty of water still at the farmhouse, so I won't even bother bringing that either. All right. Here we go. Make sure I've got nothing decoy on me. Just going to go a bit of the back way into town. I sort of tend to feel a bit safer going this way. Although we're definitely not sheltered from the wind. And we are 
we're definitely walking into a big headwind. Burdened. Oh, come on, headwind. Right. I'm assuming we're probably going to get barked at on down this coming down this road. Six. Oh, lucky day. Stale chocolate bar, I'll take it. Kind of like a piece of cloth. That's always this thing that's sort of making me happy at the moment. Uh, I probably should have checked the trunk of the other one as well. Pry bar with me, or did I leave that behind? <laughs> Nothing. All right. Have I checked this vehicle yet? I have not. Warming up's expired. Can't feel my hands. Okay, so that was reasonably uneventful. It means they're all probably down at the farmhouse. Start getting where we can be warm. Come on. Where's the magic button? There we go. Come on. Did I leave me myself some fuel? I did. I left myself like four beautiful pieces of coal. There's even some food there. Oh, we're actually a little bit warm here. Cured gut. Awesome. Rancid rabbit. Hmm. There's no fresh spawn coal back here, but there's the stuff at the front of the cave, so that's still good. Oh, three degrees is as warm as we get anywhere back here. Alright. Well, we might sleep for a, just an hour to get warm. I wouldn't imagine any of these are still warm. No. 
that's okay. Um, I'll sleep for just an hour and hopefully the weather improves again a tiny bit. That sounds like it got worse again. Is it back to back blizzarding me? What is it doing? off for <sighs> quite a lot of weight. Have plenty of water down at the at the farm. Everything else I think I really need. Uh, the rest of this is really about the fuel. Um, six pieces of coal though. I might just have to I'll take that piece. There's a piece of fur. I think I might just have to limp there. Um, I just want to warm up that tiny last little bit as well. I'll eat again, sleep for just one more hour. Get on our way. Hopefully, finish our bow. Man, I'm not sure I can carry much more. Mm, yeah, it's it's better when we're out of the wind now. It's still pretty shocking when it's a headwind, though. At least for speed-wise. Oh, I need to find food. Come on. Day's getting away from us. Five hours of crafting to do. Come on. Come on. Of course we're going to be walking through town into a headwind. Come on. This is like Hush River Valley wind. There's a wolf down there. Good to know. Sometimes you hear the wind and it sounds like a wolf bark. And you're like, did I really hear that? Or is that just a... an illusion? But don't get me wrong, I don't think that's a, another deliberate move from the devs. Right in your face. 
It knows. Well, I see two wolves already at the farm. Three wolves. There's three. There's one just walking right around the barn. The game is trying to make it tough. It's windy, so we can't do a defensive fire. Not until we get to that barrel, at least. It's gonna. It's trying me. So I just see one at the moment. I'm trying to keep my eyes out for the other two. There's two. So where is the third? I'm gonna die if I don't warm up soon. Two rocks. Okay, so one's making his way across this paddock. Another one's down the far side. There's magic number three. I knew there were three. There's the third, just on the front lawn. Just making sure I can keep him in sight. No rabbits around the uh, shed at the moment, so touchy touchy. Come on. Come on, little fire. All right, there we go. All right, so straight away that piece of fur. A few more sticks. I'll actually chuck on one piece of that reclaimed. Don't need the coal just yet. Got a few hours on that. Two and a half hours. Let's go straight for that bow. Begin crafting. Use the knife. Alright, now we have a bow. An hour and a half there. Now I am slightly worried it is going to aurora me in with these three wolves, so... What I... Another piece of coal. You know, I really should have been doing the whole condition with the food again. It's a lot to concentrate on. Right. And the piece of reclaimed. We've got three hours. What I'm gonna do. I'm actually just going to try and do one and a half hours on this. Trees. See what's going on with everything around us. It's foggy. One and a half hours. hours. Hang on. Two hours, nine minutes. Let's just give us a little bit of wiggle room. Two hours. The 
are slightly encumbered, but... Right. I'm actually going to not use the bow, have the bow out. I'm going to have the... So he's right there. Have the flare gun out. something to eat. Alright. Try and go a little bit more of a safe direction. Oh, we off of weight. Oh. Not much. So he's going to creep around the back here just to avoid the wolves as much as possible. Hopefully. make their way up here so to drop a little bit of something to make this rope climb down in a moment I had an ambitions of maybe trying to harvest the meat of this deer but um, I just Can't see a good way to do that and still have enough energy and fatigue and weight and all of that. So I think that deer is just going to have to wait. Well, I will happily admit that I was a little bit nerve-wracking trying to uh, make that last bit happen. I thought the game was going to turn on me. Wait. Need a cattail. Forty grams. Need to drink anymore? Ah, let's just eat. Two more of you. Three more of you? Maybe drop some cattail heads. That's what I should have been doing all along. Alright. Let's make the climb down. this point that I'm really really hoping I picked up my bedroll in the cave where we warmed up. And if we didn't, we would be in so much trouble. Hey, we still have a bedroll. actually kind of warmish out for uh, for this but yeah, we have to drop a lot of weight to make even that next rope climb down so I think we're definitely sleeping in this cave okay so what is the temperature here? 7 degrees we've actually got a decent amount of food on us. Seven degrees. 
And I think we can probably probably risk sleeping for about four hours. We'll see how we go. Hopefully we make it on the other side. Uh, still just warm on the other side. Now we are for food. Uh, try sleeping for two more hours. Let's see if we don't lose temperature. Only slightly cold. sleeping for two more again. Hey, yeah, now it's cold in here. Still slightly warmer in the bedroll, just. Um. What do we got? Supplies wise. And I think we can still do one more hour with a tiny bit of, tiniest bit of positive warmth. Yeah, now it's minus six. Just gonna chance passing time for one hour and just see what happens with the temperature. If it starts to get warmer or not. We're still losing temperature, only just. Oh, I could eat a horse. It's probably starting to level out a bit. Go once again. Now it's going back up slightly. Let's sleep for one more hour now we're getting warm. Get fully warm and then we'll leave. Try two hours. We're only getting warm very, very, very slowly, so. Great. And the reason I do that is, it, you know, I've probably banged on about it quite a lot. The way I like to play is not to squander too many of the resources, especially fuel, fuel and fire. Um, and warmth, you know, stuff that, you know, the cold is the thing that's going to kill you the most, so, you know, burning through your fuel when you don't need to is kind of a little bit of a big thing for me. And there's lots of other mecha mechanisms in the game that I, <laughs> I miss that I could be doing well more efficient. I guess that's just the one that I tend to be concerned about and roll with. What are we doing weight-wise? We're, we're just okay for the moment. Now that was right on the button, wasn't it? Yep. So I think what we're going to do now is just quickly make our way through the basin. We'll loot this car, the ridge, uh, maybe the cave, uh, head over to the little burnt out shack and then uh, completely leave. Um, and make our way to Hat Creek. The tricky thing is, is there's so many cattails here we really should make use of. Oh, and then we're going to get lured, lured by the, uh, by the carcass and get free food. Nothing in there. Warm was it in this truck? So Not enough to make it worth it. Mm. I 
I will get the free food. Hope the weather doesn't turn on me. If it does, we've got quite a few options, so we won't be completely destitute. It's days like these, I wish I had the magnifying glass. Probably only down to a box and a bit of matches. I think I probably should have a quick look at that. Got a couple of pieces of cedar. I think I need that just for the warmth. Yeah, so we got 16 matches. We will need to do something about that. How much of that can I pull off in? Just pull a kilo off. Ish. Just drink that to warm up slightly. I'll cook another one. Didn't bring the hacksaw with us from in the cave of trappers, so I'm kind of stuck with stuck with what we've got. Let's let that one drop you. So, while we're waiting on that, we now have a bow, we have eight made arrows, two more. And a couple, you know, we've got these we can make up later, but we've got a good little stash. Um, clothing wise, I mean, we've now got the rabbit skin hat, the warm wool scarf. Cloth wise, three pieces of cloth. We can tear down our cotton toque. That's not too bad. Uh, I'm just going to eat one piece of this. I know that's going to come off shortly, but we're just about to hit the end of our eating stuff. I'm getting a little bit warm now. How are we off for things like... You know, we kind of got a couple of crappy torches. If I can pull some better ones out, I'll probably drop those or tear them up. I don't imagine there's anything interesting in the back of this vehicle. Can you even see if there's anything interesting? Can you climb this rock or anything? Uh, it won't even show me. I don't think there would be. Yeah. So hopefully we get through this area quickly and we can call that an episode. Six minutes just pass on that. Eat. Twenty-nine minutes. Yeah, let's just see what where our that's a half decent torch. See if we can find a better one using Turkey's trick. And move around the fire until you uh click on the magic spot. See that one's a crap spot. We're better off where we were before. Just somewhere around in here. That one's great. Take another one from there. Yeah. So. Hey, leave it. I didn't touch that. Oh, I've got my my trackpad mouse going, hitting two buttons at once. So 20 minutes. You got 37 minutes on there. Tear down a couple of the crap torches. Uh, 
12 minutes. Let's wait for that. Eat it. Ah, this has a terrible torch, but oh, we meant to drink this too. Don't run through the fire. Yeah, it almost did. Right. We're going a little bit slow. I'm getting stuck on things. And thankfully we're also away from the really loud waterfall. Actually, mostly wind cold. We got out of the wind. We're probably doing okay. Alright, come on. I don't think I'm going to take more maple, really. I don't really want the weight and carry in the responsibility of curing. Dog food. Dusty. I'll take it. A bit of firewood. Mm, we're heavy for the moment. I'll consider that in a, in a minute. But yeah, I won't take the birch, won't take the maple. Day currently. Okay. A lot of wood. Pinnacle peaches. Rusty. 8%. You stay. Accelerant. A new granola bar. Take the fur. And. Is it just it's so bright here? It's so hard to see. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. I think we'll call it on that. But yeah, idea would be to make our way to down to Hat Creek. We might end up staying there at Hat Creek for a couple of days and get ourselves, you know, fed and healthy. Make a day trip out to try and avoid the wolf and check out the signal tower. Um, I guess that would be the the grand ambition. Now. And then once we've got a little... Well, we're doing alright for condition, but, you know, we might just rest up for a couple of days down at Hat Creek and hunt a deer and do some stuff but after that I think we will very quickly make our way back through Mystery Lake pick up all of our critical gear cut through the ravine and try our luck through Coastal Highway at that point I needed to just make a decision if we're going to go to Pleasant Valley or go through Coastal Highway all the way to Desolation Point Part of what I'm 
trying to think about is should we loot a bunch of the world and then go to Timberwolf Mountain or just race for Timberwolf Mountain before it all goes uh, really bad condition all the stuff that lives there I mean I'm open to suggestions you know, it started to come in foggy The moose isn't home. I see moose rubbings. Don't hear the moose though. I really should have been grabbing a few more uh cattails if we could I'm not really sure of all their specific locations on this map missing a few over there but deer running for no apparent reason I thought now, was he running away from me just on the other side of this rock I'm running away from a wolf towards me that's the uh, the real question Such a temptation. Again, another trap, I think, sometimes. Just, you know, how many do you get versus move on to bigger and better things. Okay. She's gaining a little bit of warmth right now, which is great. A tiny bit. Right, we have three deer, a couple of rabbits. I'm not going to hunt them, but we will probably drive them in front of us. Security detail. Oh, don't do that. Let's do that. because we're warm we'll stock up a little bit on these things I'm quite overweight though I'm not going to grab all of them just to enough to replenish some of the things that we used lot of fuel so depending on what comes out of here nobody needs this anymore take the fur leave the cedar nothing there that's nothing is it that's just I'm not gonna try and tear up that thing pinnacle peaches rusty no all right piece of cloth oh, books no do not want. Actually, I'll tell you what I will do. I know we're, we're heavy. Um, I'm going to grab those and bring them. Depending on how long we try and stay at Hat Creek. How heavy are we? 34 kilos. We are so heavy. 
Um, depending on how long we try and stay at Hat Creek, might consider making a rabbit trap or two. I don't know. In my normal gameplay style, I'd probably hang around a little bit longer in places and would consider doing the, the passive food gathering, like the, the snaring. So, on an outer looper though, I'm trying to move fast. Maybe not so much, but. Is going to drive you guys in a different direction than this. It's probably not quite where I wanted to scare him, but. Trying to make sure there's not a wolf right here where we where we want to go, so it's probably only about now I'd probably normally start to see the wolves pop in. probably in the clear. He says hopefully. I mean there's a rabbit over there. Alright. Yeah, let's leave Milton. Back in familiar old fallon musk egg. Okay. <sighs> Quite like marsh ridge. Like this is a is a good little spot to hang out for a while. Alright. Did we have any more torches? One more. Alright. Uh, I think we'll duck in here. And I think we'll call that the end of an episode. So yeah, I'll, uh, this is where we'll stop for the moment. And I'll see you in the next episode. When we try and figure out what our next move is going to be. Alright, bye.